Welcome to the Flaming Phoenix Theater. I'm Foul Owl, and tonight I'm here to tell The Legend of Sleepy Hollow by Washington Irving, featuring the W.I.N.G. players. For those faint of heart, I advise you leave the theater now, for things may get a wee bit scary. No refunds, though. No refunds. Oh, now, the legend tells the... God! Yeah! <laughs> Gizmo! <laughs> You <laughs> the legend tells the tale from the 1790 countryside of Terrytown, New York, in the tucked away glen called Sleepy Hollow. A superstitious schoolmaster from a Connecticut named Ichabod Crane arrived in town on horseback. Whoa there, Elmer! Whoa! <laughs> Cute. Ichabod Crane taught his classes. Bow, bow. Real quick, instead of calling me Ichabod Crane, I think Checkerbod Crane is a better fit if you're having poultry playing the part. All right. Checkerbod Crane taught school in... I, yeah, actually, I have some notes. Uh, you see, Ichabod Crane was, well, a crane. A kufu, Ichabod Crane was a human. But his last name is Crane. I'm a stunted Stanley Crane, so I should play the part. I'm sorry, Kufu, but the role has already been cast. Fine. But know this. I'm mad. Mm-hmm. Anywho, Ichabod... Chickabod. Chickabod Crane crossed paths with a young girl named Katrina Von Tassel. <laughs> Chickabod was taken by her. <laughs> But Abraham Brom Bones Van Brunt, the town's rowdy hero, was also after Katrina's heart. <laughs> she was the only child of her wealthy father, Baltus Van Tassel. Chickabot knew if he secured the hand of the young Katrina that he would be set for life. Oh, Katrina, marry me and we will live happily ever after. Sorry, Scrunny. If anyone's winning Katrina's hand, it's me. Uh-uh, boys. Don't fight over little old me. <laughs> For a while, I hate playing these helpless female roles. My apologies, Francis, but it was either you or a mop wearing a dress. Hey, I got Never the... mind, Kesmo. Gentlemen, you are cordially invited to my annual Halloween frolic this fine evening. We'll have food, dancing, and Brom Bones will tell his horrifying, nightmare-fueled, demonic, bewitching tales of terror! Oh, and pumpkin spice everything. <laughs> oh, I just realized I have some students' papers to grade. Scared of ghost stories, Chickabod? What a shame. <laughs> Guess I'll be courting Katrina at the party this evening. I, 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 I'll b b b be there. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, when's this thing supposed to get scary? Quiet, you! This is all exposition building to the climactic end to our story. Hi, yeah, me again. Khufu. From work? Oh. Just reconsider me for the part of Ichabod. Off the and stage, can... Khufu, off! Shoo! <laughs> that evening at Mr. Van Tassel's Halloween frolic, Brom Bones told hair-raising tales that frightened Chickabod. But one tale he told would shake Chickabod to his very core. Go ahead, Brom Bones. During the Battle of White Plains, a German soldier was decapitated while on his horse by an American cannonball. His body was buried in the town cemetery, but his head was never to be found. How do I know? Why I came face to face, so to speak, with the headless horseman in the hollow. And now every Halloween night, the horseman appears, searching for a head to swap. Look out. <laughs> if you encounter the headless horseman this Halloween night, your only escape is to cross the bridge over the brook. Once you cross it, his power ends. Boom! <laughs> oh, my! <laughs> the party ended. And everyone left for home. It was the witching hour as Chickabod rode his horse home. He had never felt so alone, so afraid. The closer he got to the hollow, the more dismal he became. Every detail of Brom's awful story returned to haunt his recollections. You're on your own, kid. 
Keep it together, Checkerbot. The Headless Horseman is not real. It's just a story. A made up, spooky, terrifying, creepy, unshattling, could be, be real story. <laughs> <laughs> What am I looking at here? Stop! Stop! Who's in there? Who is in there? Woohoo! Foul Al, you're giving away our puppeteer secrets? Lucko! This story calls for a headless horseman. Why on earth do you have a cow? So what you're saying is, don't have a cow. Trust me, you don't know the hoof of it. <laughs> Chigger got the last stick horse from the props closet. This is all I could scrape up. Well, you can't call him the headless cow, man. Well, this is utterly ridiculous. Uh, don't you dare. It's all moot at this point. Enough. <laughs> I, I'm terribly sorry for this mix-up here, but we will... Hey, this still ain't scary. You keep interrupting like that. I'll come down there and give you something to be scared of. <laughs> now, the headless thing... Chased after Chickabod, swatting his blade for Chickabod's head. Uh, we could only find this wiffle bat. <sighs> the headless guy on the cow swinging his wiffle bat. Ignorance. Chased Chickabod. A Chickabod reached the bridge Brom Bones mentioned in his story and crossed it. But just as he reached the other side, the headless person hurled a fiery jack o' lantern at Chickabod. I am the jack-o'-lantern, ready to be hurled across the bridge. Speck, like the jack-o'-lantern. Finally! I don't think so. Ugh. Say, does this checkerbod fella ever get with that Katrina gal? No, Katrina ended up marrying that Brom Bones fellow, and Chickabod was never seen again after his headless ghoul encounter. What's up with the lights? Someone didn't pay their power bill. <laughs> and apparently they think it's funny. Well, this is just an old theater. I'm sure it's just some bad wiring or pipes moaning. Well, those pipes are very vocal. Kesmo, if you're trying to scare me again... It's not me, I swear. <sighs> No, no, thank you. Oh. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Hey! It's me, Luggle Duggle Bird. Remember to subscribe to more Bird Call. And don't forget to watch more Bird Call videos. <sighs> Somebody's got to clean this place up. Whew, Halloween's always messy around here. Dylan, uh, I'm going to need you to help me clean this up. In turn. <laughs> <Ooh>, oh. <clears throat> <laughs>